Hamid Nizami, Punjabi, Urdu, Hamid Enzami B. The 3rd of October 1915 to the 22nd of February 1962 was an eminent journalist, literary figure, Pakistan movement activist, and the founder as well as the editor in chief of the Urdu language newspaper, the Nawaiwaqt lit, the Voice of the Time. He earned national prominence for penning several political articles and opinionated columns in support of successful Pakistan movement while he played a crucial role in the growing influence of the print journalism in Pakistan. Biography <inaudible> 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 Hamid Nizami was born in the remote railway junction town of Sangla Hill, a few miles from the vintage city Lyalpur now Faisalabad, Punjab, British Indian Empire, on 3 October 1915. He hailed from a Punjabi family and initially studied at the local school in Faisalabad at his own expense. He attended the Islamia College where he gained a BA degree in journalism. Later, he attended the Punjab University where he attained the MA degree in English literature. During his years in college, he was politically active. He founded and served as president of the Punjab Muslim Students Federation wing of the Muslim League. His role as student leader and journalist led him to become closer to Muhammad Ali Jinnah. After attaining master's degree in journalism, he joined the press directorate of the Punjab government for a short time before joining the literary staff of the Orient Press. Nawaiwaqt newspaper In 1940, Nizami left the Orient Press to establish the Nawaiwaqt newspaper. He became the newspaper's first editor-in-chief from Lahore on 23 March 1940. The Nawaiwaqt was a monthly newspaper but he quickly converted the newspaper into weekly on 15 December 1942. After hiring more staff and gaining more credibility, the Nawaiwaqt began publishing its articles and news headlines on daily purposes on 19 July 1944. The first edition of the Nawaiwaqt came out on the 22nd of July 1944 with a Muslim prayer and a message of Muhammad Ali Jinnah in it. Nizami's efforts made Nawaiwaqt, with all its resources limitations, a powerful voice of the people for the cause of Muslim League, and he penned several articles for the support of Pakistan movement. He was noted as a strong spokesman for democracy in the country, and wrote a harsh column against the first martial law imposed by President Iskander Mirza. Through his newspaper, he took hard stance on communism and supported capitalism during the 1950s. He began to raise his voice against the martial law despite hardship imposed by the government. He once described the martial law as a dark night. Death and legacy Hamid Nizami died on 25 February 1962 in Lahore. His death was mourned throughout the country. After his death, the newspaper founded the Hamid Nizami Memorial Society HNMS dedicated to his style of journalism, and held memorial sessions in remembrance of his name every year. His journalism style was influenced by the renowned philosopher, Iqbal, and he had conveyed Iqbal's words and articles he wrote. To many conservative politicians, Nizami is noted as a crucial figure in shaping the print media in Pakistan. The government of Pakistan issued a postage stamp in the honor of Hamid Nizami Hamid Nizami's son, Arif Nizami, and grandson, Babar Nizami, run the daily newspaper Pakistan Today. <laughs> 